Daryl Murphy, mm. Richie. Um, scored two goals, what, came into Friday night's game with just one international goal. Now he's, he's trebled that, he got two the other night. Um, his importance this evening? It's a big night for him, but you, and this is what we know he can do. Balls into the box, he's big, he's strong, he's good in the air, and we'd hope to see him doing something like this tonight. But it matters the service you give him. A ball like this, Shane Long can do something with that because he's quick. Daryl Murphy can't. He doesn't have the pace. If you're playing it over the centre half, he won't win it. If you try and do this, play it into the channels, Daryl Murphy will chase it, but he won't get there. And we'll see Wales defenders playing out with ease. Even moments like this, if you try and play one-twos like that with Daryl Murphy and ask him to react quickly, he won't get there. This is how you play the ball to Daryl Murphy, play to his strengths. So you're not expecting him to run He'll win the ball in the air, but you need teammates to do what Wes Houlihan did on that occasion, what several players do on this occasion. You need to get around him, because if you don't, you isolate him. So, on the one hand, the service to him has got to be spot on. His hold-up play, as it was there, has got to be excellent. And number three, another example here, you need teammates to take a chance. Now, we looked at the, the, the formation as supplied by the fellow from UEFA. At the moment, we think McLean could be the one that's playing off him. But Plenty of Irish players will have the opportunity to be in a supportive role and we need them to do that because positionally you, you could be isolated, certainly in terms of numbers, you're, you're, I mean you're outnumbered by defence, but deliveries like this play to the strength of Daryl Murphy. Like before Friday night he got one international goal and you'd be worried sending a team like this into a big game like that when your main striker has only one goal under his belt. He now has three, you presume confidence is high, but to support to him both in terms of the service of the ball and getting players around him, is going to be key. Because we, we could be sitting here in an hour and a half or two hours talking about him having a limited impact. Mm. And it might not only be because of his limitations, everyone else needs to place their strengths too. And like he clearly played the other night and did extremely well. Mm. It, it's unlikely, Liam, he's going to last the full 90 minutes. Without Shane Long then, the, the attacking options off the bench has to be a concern for Martin O'Neill. Yeah, well, <clears throat> I, I was optimistic after the game the other night. Uh, uh, about tonight's game but I had factored in that it might be Long and Murphy up front and Long definitely occupies the defence well he chases after things okay we know he's out bang out of form when it comes to scoring goals but I do think that it gave us a better chance of getting the result we need tonight had we had Shane Long fit unfortunately he's not fit yeah. um, and Martin's gone for this uh, side uh, I I'll wait to see how it, how it lines out. I'll wait to see where McLean plays, where uh, Brady plays. But Richie's absolutely mm. right that if they're going to get the best out of Murphy, he, he needs support. He needs bodies around him. He can't run. He hasn't got the pace. And it looks to me, again, I will say it, that your best chance probably of scoring is going to be from a set piece. Okay.